All right, we are heading out to get into an attic. <laughs> if you don't know who I am, I am Alan Lee, and I own and operate Honestly Handyman Services. I feel I haven't introduced myself really ever on the vlog here, <laughs> so that is who I am. This vlog is a continuation from the last vlog. We just got done uh, on that zip line there. If you, if you don't know what that is, check out that other vlog we just finished up. But uh, we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna install a new ceiling fan where there isn't one uh, right now. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. Rewire an outlet and all that. We got all the uh, all the materials that we need for this job. So we are heading over there and uh, kind of the time frame is it is 2 p.m. right now. Uh, I want I would like to get this job done by five, uh, you know, so I could get home at a reasonable hour. But uh, we're just gonna we're gonna plug plug through until we get her done. So uh, we'll kind of see how long it takes us, see how see how well it goes. So. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for uh, doing the ceiling fan. Haven't really done one in a little while, um, but I have done a lot of them. Uh, I, I did a lot more in the springtime before summer, but uh, yeah, so let's get to it. We're gonna get to this guy. Okay, here's where we're gonna install the ceiling fan, and then it's gonna be somewhere right around there. We're gonna be running our wire somewhere around this area here. Okay, so there's already a wire there running to that switch through this little cavity here. It's a little bit different because this uh, ceiling height is different than this ceiling height, so just running right down there. So we're going to use that same hole to run our new wire. Okay, and the current switch runs this outlet here, so we're going to have to rewire this outlet. Okay, got the power off, so now I need to figure out which one of these is the power. Okay, got my wiring figured out. I'll wire it up to the actual outlet here later, but power neutral in there. I use this guy to find the center of the room. So one portion of the room is 146.6 and the other one is 167.2 so I just need to find half of those and then mark it up here for my ceiling fan. Okay, now I have my center thanks to my tack life. Okay, whenever I find the center, I always uh, drill a really small hole and then stick stick a wire through the hole, which is what we got here. That does one of two things. Make sure that I'm not, there's nothing obtrusive. I could come up here and take a look at it, and I could also move the insulation around, so when I cut the hole, insulation doesn't fall on me. But that's perfect. That's right where our hole's gonna go. All right, we got our wire ran to the switch. Now we just need to cut this hole here for the ceiling fan box. And then uh, we're going to put the ceiling fan box, box up here and run our wire to it and get going. So, pretty smooth thus far. One little tip I learned a while ago about crawling in an attic is always take your keys out of your pocket before you get up here. One time I, uh, I uh, was crawling in a really skinny attic and I heard my keys drop out of my, uh, my pockets and it was a, I was frantic looking for them, but I finally found them, obviously. <laughs> This here is what I use, and this thing, this thing spins, and this little, uh, these little arms come out and hold against the stud, and this is the box that screws into it. See, here's a little bit how this bracket works. You tighten it down, and as you tighten, those little sharp things go into the joists. So this is what we got here, right over our hole. We're just gonna. Keep tightening it some more, then we're gonna go down and hook our box up. We 
Okay, there's our complete junction box with our wire installed. So now we just need to put in our whole construction box. This is our power going to the fan. Put that in, hook that up, and then put in our ceiling fan, and we'll be all done. Okay, we got the power back on, got that outlet in, it's working. We got uh, those wires are live when you switch that switch, so we're going to install a ceiling fan now. Alright, all wrapped up with that job. That job went uh, really well. Uh, everything went according to plan. Super awesome. I love it when jobs go like that. It worked out super great. Uh, so some of the logistics of that job. Well, first I wanted to explain, um, I've had a lot of comments uh, asking about the, uh, the California handyman law here in California and exactly what that is because some of my jobs like per day go over $500 so they were wondering like they wanted some clarification on that. So the, the law in California, and I have a video on that, I will annotate that video up here so you guys can take a look at it. Um, the law in California for a handyman is if you don't have a contractor's license, you can, perf you can only perform up to $500, including labor and materials per project. So that, that word project is, um, is the key here. And I've called the CSLB, the Contract State License Board, on this exact topic and exactly what a, pro what a project is. Um, and really the textbook does not define what a project is, um, but it is interpreted as a project is a certain project in the house. So it says in the law that you cannot break up a large project into smaller projects to make it, um, to make it under $500. So obviously you cannot take like a bathroom remodel project and break that down into $500 segments and get away with that. You're still breaking the law. Um, but you can, so different projects in the house, at least the way that I interpret it and the way that I've been affirmed, is like a kitchen sink is one project, a ceiling fan in the other room is another project, but like if someone is redoing their whole house and they just want you to come in and do the kitchen faucet and the ceiling fan, you could not do that because it's part of a whole project. They are, they are remodeling their whole house, if that makes any sense to you. There's a lot of gray areas in this law. It's kind of crazy. I've done a whole lot of research spent a lot of hours trying to figure out exactly what it is because I don't want to be breaking the law. Um, I want to be on the up and up at all times and there are many people who believe different things about this but um, all I know is I've done extensive research and I would encourage you to do extensive research as well. 
So in this in this job, for instance, I installed one ceiling fan, a uh, brand new ceiling fan, um, and and with the California law, you can operate in any field that you want as long as you stay under five hundred dollars uh, per project. So I installed the ceiling fan. I also installed a light fixture in the bathroom. So say the ceiling fan, uh, say I charge five hundred bucks or four ninety nine for that. I could still do the light in the bathroom for say seventy five dollars. And the total job would be five, uh, 575 because there's two different projects on that, if that makes any sense. So for this, the logistics of this job here, total, the whole job was 475 So I charged um, I charged $400 for that ceiling fan install, um, and I charged $75 for the light in the bathroom. So I didn't go over $500, but even if I did go over $500, it would still be fine because these were two separate projects. You understand? Um, and if you, if you don't, you can call the CSLB for more clarification. It's it's a whole mess, really. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the logistics of this. And I said I wanted to get done by five o'clock. It is 4:50 right now. So I was at this job for a total of what two hours and 50 minutes, if I'm doing my math right. I started at two o'clock, and now it's 4:50. Um, I think that's right, Matt. <laughs> so two hours 50 minutes. Um, labor. So materials were about 25 bucks. Labor was about 450, so pretty good day. Um, I had that other job that I that was on the last vlog earlier today. So uh, overall, pretty good day. Thank you all so much, and I hope you all have a great one. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. You all have a great day.